Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of US Cutter Quick Cuts. In today's episode, we're gonna be showing you how to connect your cutter to your computer if you're using the SureCuts A Lot Pro 4 software. This video will show you how to use the USB settings to connect your vinyl cutter and ensure that your connection works. Let's go ahead and get started inside the SureCuts A Lot Pro 4 software now. Once inside the software, we want to go all the way up to the top to the drop down menu toolbar and select the cutter option. Inside the cutter drop down menu, we want to highlight the My Cutter option. That will open another menu that will show you the Manage Cutters option as well as any other cutter that you currently have installed. We want to install a new cutter and I don't have any installed right now as you can see, so I'm going to select the Manage Cutters and this will open the My Manage My Cutters pop-up window. On the right side of this pop-up window, we can add a machine. Starting with the top option on the right, we want to select the company brand option and select our machine from the list. All of our machines can be found under US Cutter, except the Prism Cut. So I have a Titan 3 for this example, so I will be selecting the US Cutter option and then the Titan 3 from the list. Once you have your cutter selected, you just want to click Add to the List. It doesn't worry about the specific model size or anything like that. You will set that when you select your width of your cutting mat later in the software. Now, I'm going to add another cutter to my list so that I can show you how to switch between each of the machines with ease. Got a prism cut here, so I'm gonna add that. The Prism Cut actually connects through Wi-Fi as well as USB, and if you'd like to see how to connect through Wi-Fi, we've already made a video about that, and I'll link that up here and also put it in the video description below. So now that I have my machine added, the next thing I need to do is test the USB connection, and then we can start cutting. If we go back up to the cutter drop-down menu again, it does have a cutter settings option, but this only has some stuff that we really don't need to mess with right now. It's all actually found in the cut settings pop-up window that you can access here. But before we get to that, I'm going to resize my cutting mat and put up a few recycling logos from the shape library down real quick. To resize the cutting mat, I will just go back into the cutter drop-down menu and then select the mat size option. I'm then going to input a custom size of 24 inches by 24 inches and then put down my designs. Once I've completed putting my designs down, I will go up to the toolbar up top and I will click the cutter button all the way on the right side to bring up the cut settings pop-up window. We can do a lot of stuff inside this pop-up, but in this video, we're only going to cover what you need to do to test the machine. So we're going to be staying on the general tab of the cut settings pop-up. Located on the top part of the pop-out, we have the cutter model displayed so that you can make sure you have the correct machine selected. Right below that is the connection drop-down and port information. We are connecting the cutter via USB so the connection is already correct. We just want to make sure that we have the correct port selected. The default setting that I have here with Auto Detect is already going to work just fine for me. It will automatically detect the port, so I just need to make sure the machine is plugged in before I start my test. With everything plugged in and powered on, I will then hit the test button, and then if working correctly, you should see a little movement on your machine like this. If you did see that movement from your machine, then congratulations, you have properly connected your machine to your computer. If you didn't see any movement out of your machine, it could be that you have it in offline mode, possibly to where you can still move it around and then set the origin point. You could also have maybe too many USBs already plugged in and it didn't recognize it. So you can try unplugging everything and then giving your computer a restart and then plug in the machine and then test it and see if it works. If you're still having an issue, please contact our support team because every single item that we offer comes with free lifetime technical support and you can reach our support agent at support at uscutter.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have yourself a wonderful day.